I'm Dr. Sharda Jain. I'm the founder and the chairman of Global Stem Gel Therapy, which is the first dedicated center of stem cell therapy in Northern India. I'm also the chairman of Life Care IVF. Today, I'm going to speak about stem cell therapy's role in female infertility. We have two sets of patients. One is patient with repeated IVF failure, and we do not know what to do in them. And second is thin endometrium, which is the cause of repeated IVF failure. Now in thin endometrium, we have tried many things. If given, try to give them estrogens, we have also tried to give, it, give them uh, granulocyte uh, cell uh, stimulating factor. And they are partly effective, but somehow we find that their endometrium some, sometimes does not pick up, especially in our country where tuberculosis is so common and they have had, the uh, majority of them have, have, have had a treatment of tuberculosis in the past. In these cases, we find that the stem cells taken out either from the bone marrow or from the blood now. That once we take out these stem cells and we inject them in the uterine cavity, the results are amazing. The endometrium picks up in the same cycle, is in subsequent cycle, some kind of a magic takes place. In one patient, we did in an IVF cycle that we had given this uh, stem cell therapy on the ninth day. Again, we had given it on the 11th day and we found a wonderful response and the patient became pregnant in the same cycle. She's, the, these people have had two or three IVF failures earlier and we find that in this particular direction, a lot of work needs to be done. We have a friend who is in Hyderabad who is also doing the work in the similar lines and she is also very happy in cases of thin endometrium. Another field is repeated IVF failure. There is something wrong. Everything is okay. Husband semen processing is alright. We have a good quality sperms. The ova is alright. And somehow it has not been able to implant. In such cases, we find that we have given these patients stem cell therapy from the bone marrow and one of our patients has had a pregnancy. We have to still try on many more cases before we can say that this is authentic. 